The 2009-2010 went very well for both teams. Uh, the women's team is currently number 13 in the country. Uh, they won the uh, Peach Belt Sportsmanship Award this year for the second year in a row, which is as good as any honor that you can win. Uh, they qualified for the NCAA tournament where they won the first match against Flagler in, in a battle down in Savannah, Georgia. And then they lost uh, to Armstrong Atlantic who won the national championship again this year for the third year in a row. All our losses on the women's side were to top 10 teams. On the men's side we had a, a, a terrific year as well. We, we qualified for the NCAAs. Uh, we again beat Flagler in a four and a half hour match on the men's side lost to Armstrong who eventually went out to the national tournament did very well out there. Armstrong at one time was number one in the country. Uh, the, uh, the guys, we had Dilshad Sharifi who was at number one in singles in the country at one time this year and he won the National Player of the Year to award this year. Uh, Sabina and Teresa, they have a chance to finish the year at number one in the country in doubles. They, uh, they, they, in the fall they reached the final of the individual tournament and they had a terrific year, both should be All-Americans. Uh, they have a chance to be All-Americans in singles and doubles. Teresa has been, number, has been top 10 the whole year and had another terrific year. And then Sabina has done very well at number two. All right, the summer, uh, you know, with the tennis teams, uh, they're on their own. Uh, usually they go and, and go back to their countries or their homes and uh, play some tennis on their own. It's not as serious over the summer. I want them to, you know, college, first and foremost is about getting their education so when they go home you know I want them to have a bit of a break from tennis and then they're usually fresh for the fall of course I'm recruiting uh, we try to improve on this year you know like I said both teams have a chance to finish top 15 in the country this year so we want to try to build on that for next year uh, they know what we expect of them in the fall both with training running lifting all of that so they're on their own with that but when they come in, they know that that's going to start beginning of September. Uh, of course, I'm recruiting uh, very hard on the women's side. We've lost a couple of ladies on the women's side, but on the men's side, I've finished my recruiting for the year. So we look to have a great year for the guys.